Hey, it's Blake's Nature Life. We're gonna go take a walk. Let's go uh, check out in the far back of the property. How about that? There's the front section. A little windy today. Here's some cardboard that I save for gardening. Here's some Mexican petunias. Uh, these are the ones that don't make seeds, but they do make a lot from the, the roots. So you have to be careful with them. I do cuttings from them. Here's my containers. Here's all the, the mulch that I use, the chicken manure in the garden. Here's the beehives. Uh, so this time we're going to stay straight, go further back. Another pile of wood stacked. Here's where the that trailer used to be at that you were showing in that video I was talking about. We didn't ever go past here. There's a lot of wood that I gotta burn. Some I'll probably pull out to split. Hope everybody's doing good. And I hope you appreciate these videos. I love walking out here, and I figured everyone, everyone else would also do also appreciate it. Leaves are still changing. Leaves are still falling. The property has a lot of these species of pines. I don't know what type they are. If anybody knows, let me know. There's different ones we have. Looks like uh, something fell on top of it and kind of bent it in. The trees you see with the yellow leaves right here, they look like hickory. This one I marked for um, tulip polar tree. Seemed like uh, when the hurricane came back a few years back, it knocked a lot of the limbs out. But it seemed like it's came back. We have a lot of magnolias here. Small one. Here's another big one. With a hickory behind it. Now we're getting into where it's really woody. We cleared this middle section out. Got to burn back here. Try to move plants around. I mean, to move the trees around, plant new ones in locations we're not going to use. We don't enjoy cutting trees down, but if you're going to do any farming or anything, you have to kind of move the forest around with you. Do your best to work with it, not destroy it. A lot of these trees have already fell. 
I guess we had like a tornado come through. I'll try to show you in one clip on the far side where the tree got twisted. And a lot of these oaks fell down, unfortunately. These big ones we want to keep. See the root? Big root ball. Just keep walking. Anytime you're ever walking, I always check your where you're walking at. You never know, even though it's cooler today. It's like in the 50s today, all day. Yesterday it was so hot, I was sweating. But you never know, you gotta be careful. Less talking, more walking. <clears throat> We have some tall palmettos here. So we have a pine tree that died. Have to be careful of that one. Another huge magnolia tree. Lots of pinto, not pinto palms, lots of uh, saw palmettos that I like to keep. A few here, a few behind. Another tree fell. It's always a tree falling, unfortunately. Where it gets extremely woody. Nothing but woods. I really do like these magnolias. They're beautiful to me, and they serve as a uh, you know a cover over your plants, like a to block the the frost when it's really cold. A little microclimate. We have another limb that looks like it fell. <clears throat> really got to be careful with the, the limbs of the trees when you're walking as well. I always keep looking up and down. so quiet too. I don't hear anything. I hear some birds. It looks like it's going to end up here. Let's uh, walk back in the front and I'm going to show you what I was talking about that tree. Okay, we're near that tree. Let's go find it. The property goes, we didn't mark this side. I know it goes a few more, probably around three to four hundred more feet. You see, we had more trees fall. This is, must have just fell not long ago. Got to be careful too about uh, yellow jackets are bad out here. Uh, I think I can get around this. I might have went too early on this side. Let's go explore. There's another oak. 
like a red oak. A lot of red oaks here. It won't go to waste, so I'll turn it into firewood. You see, I have plenty, plenty of trees that just keep falling. You get high winds and they can't handle it. What is that? Oh, that's the neighbor. I'm going to go in a little bit further in. Well, be careful. Oh, look at that. Duck. That could be a nice little home for an animal. Oh, this must have did this not long ago. I never noticed this. Interesting. It's like a little cave now. I thought the tree's still alive. Let's try to find that tree I was telling you about. <laughs> I think we're getting close. Give me a moment. I'll come back to you when I find it. There's somewhere between here, because this more trees have fell to about here recently. So open. And we're talking about some really huge trees. Sad how long they grow and then they fall, but I know it's nature got to fall and be given back into the ground but things have changed there's not as many trees as there was before hmm. this one Right here is either a water oak or a small live oak. Ooh. Didn't know I had any on the property. Did plant a few small ones. Probably gonna stop soon. I'm getting ticks getting on me. I had one try to bite me. Even though you spray, they still try to climb. Just walk over here. Be careful. Oh wait, I found it. Cool. Just pop up here. There it is. Finally, I found it. <clears throat> it was a healthy tree. You can see how huge it is. This is definitely from a tornado. Twisted the tree. See how it's ripped, shredded like it just got twisted. You see how huge it is. And I'm sure when it fell, it knocked other trees down and they all had like a domino effect. Look how big it is. I mean, that's a lot of firewood. It's just sad to see that it had to go this way. This happened in the hurricane a few years back. We had a few tornadoes pop down. Most definitely that's not from wind, just twisting it. The way it snapped. Perfectly healthy tree. See how I wanted everybody to see this tree. This is Blake's Nature Love.